Mohammad Akhlaq lived in Bisra village in Uttar Pradesh for 50 long years. He was friendly with his mostly Hindu neighbors and brought up his children here. His older one serves in the Indian Air Force. None of those facts made any difference when a mob ransacked his house after rumors that he had eaten beef. Akhlaq and his younger son were beaten and stoned for over an hour. The police nowhere to be seen as that mob run riot. Six people have now been arrested, but many, many others are missing. A large mob came on Monday night and dragged 50-year-old Mohammad Akhlaq Sefi out of his home down these stairs, killing him in front of his family with the equipment he uses for his daily work. The mob killed him after a rumour that the Sefi slaughtered a calf and stored the meat. It was here at the local temple, just 500 metres away from his house, where an announcement was made about cow remains being found close to Akhlaq's house, which led to the attack. Some animal remains found close by and meat found from Akhlaq Saifi's house was sent for testing and sources say the meat wasn't even beef. In Akhlaq's neighborhood, a sense of disbelief and fear. Many people refuse to even speak about what's happened. Bisara is predominantly a Rajput village with 17 Muslim families who live over here. So far this area has stayed away from communal tension. But could this attack be a pre-planned attack? Could local Zilla Parishad elections, which are to be held in a few days from now, part of the motive? So far, sources have told NDTV that there were inflammatory WhatsApp messages which were circulated just a few hours ahead of the attack in this village. Perhaps what is more frightening here is the sense of bitter divide that's surfacing. The accused are on the run, their families utterly unrepentant. The accused, some arrested, come from middle class families, educated young men, studying to be teachers and engineers. They live in the same lane as the victim, even visited them on Eid and had cordial relations with them till now. With camera person Madan Lal reporting from Dadri, Tony Mabiswas for NDTV. Perhaps what's even more staggering are the responses after the mob violence and murder, families of the attackers shrugging off that incident or even justifying it. The former BJP MP of the area actively defending the attackers, calling them innocent kids who got excited. उन्होंने जो बच्चों ने वो देखा मीट और उसमें जो उन्हें जो दिखाई दिया उसकी वजह से ये इंप्रेशन उनके दिमाग में चला गया कि ये मीट है बाहर वाले ये कह रहे हैं कि वो गाय गाय की मीट नहीं थी वो बकरे की मीट थी अब ये तो अब वास्तव में जांच का विषय है लेकिन जो इंप्रेशन गया उससे एक्साइटमेंट और तेजना बढ़ी है उसे घटना हुई किसी भी आदमी की जान जाना बहुत दुखद है इस पर हम भी दुख व्यक्त किए हैं परिवार में भी जाकर दुख व्यक्त किए हैं लेकिन घटना का जो कारण है वो एक्साइटमेंट पर सिर्फ परिवार का ही आरोप है कि सूरी योजित हुआ है प्री प्लान कॉन्स्पिरेसी नहीं ये बिल्कुल परिवार का भी आरोप नहीं है परिवार में हम भी हम भी मिलकर परिवार में मिलकर आए हैं परिवार ने बिल्कुल ये नहीं कहा कि हम ये सुनियोजित है उन्होंने कहा कि हमेशा यहाँ पर अच्छा माहौल रहा है the victim of a carefully planned conspiracy, his son says he's mystified. He spoke to his mother just half an hour before the violence and everything then was peaceful and normal. Uh, Corporal Sartaj, uh, you found out about this, uh, a horrific incident which really happened. Equally baffled as to why it happened, was there uh, any enmity, was there any uh, tension in the area? Why did that happen? No. Was there any indication? Uh, education question is that I was at the time. 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 So, 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 I was at the time. 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 I was at the but suddenly, after talking to you, the mahal was changed. After 25 minutes, again, the sister called me and said, when my father was 
पिटाई मतलब कि मार रहे हैं यहाँ पर और मतलब कि बहुत सारे लोग आए हैं इकट्ठे होकर तो जब मारपीट चल रही थी आपको फोन आया नहीं मारपीट क्या है मारपीट करने के बाद पापा जी को घसीट कर बाहर ले गए जाहिर सी बात है आप वापस उसी मोहल्ले में रह रहे हैं आप लोग तो हो सकता है कुछ लोग उसी हिंसा में शामिल भी थे तो बिल्कुल वही लोग शामिल है पड़ोसी है पड़ोसी लड़के जो शामिल थे उसमें जो सिस्टर है वो घर से ज्यादा बाहर नहीं निकलते किसी ने कुछ आपको बोला कि क्या हुआ किसी ने सिस्टर ने माफी मांगी किसी ने कहा कि गलत हुआ नहीं आपने पूछने की कोशिश की इवन क्या हुआ इवन गांव का कोई बंदा नहीं दिखाई दिया पास में जो अरेस्ट हुए हैं उन्होंने तो मर्डर किया है मर्डर किया है उसके हाँ जो मार रहे हैं उन्होंने मर्डर किया एक इंसान का किस वजह से किया है वो वजह भी बताओ और आप क्या इस बात को पक्की कर सकते हो कि भाई ये वजह पक्की है तो मर्डर किया है तो मर्डर की सजा होनी चाहिए सजा इतनी जबरदस्त हो कि पता लगे औरों के भी औरों के साथ ऐसा ना हो और किसी गरीब के साथ